Hey, uh, I thought I'd give a quick demo of this new structural find and replace feature that I've been working on. Uh, so I have my scratch file here. I'm going to define a rewrite rule, which starts with this uh, keyword at rewrite. I'm going to re be rewriting terms and I'm going to replace um, Expressions of the form x plus 1 with uh, a call to nat.increment of x. Um, let's, so what is x? I actually just want x to be a variable, um, stand for any, any sub-expression. And um, yeah, we, I'll show a more complicated example later where we're actually rewriting uh, not just terms, but also pattern matches and, and type signatures. But um, so these rewrite rules are, they are actually uh, definitions in Unison. So you can write them in your scratch file. You can add them to your code base. They have a type. Um, the type is maybe a, a little bit complicated to look at, but um, in this case, we just have a single um, this is actually a block, so we, we're going to be able to include multiple um, rules in a single uh, rewrite block. And this is just saying that the, it's a singleton. Uh, there's just one one rule in the in the block, and it's uh, replacing uh, nats with nats. Um, okay, so if I want to first find things that match this rule. I can use a structured find, um, and it's going to look through my project and find uh, anything that uh, where there's a match for one of the one of the rules. In this case, there's just one. I might uh, type one to sort of bring it in, into my scratch file. Uh, you can see it it doesn't have x plus one; it has k plus one in the implementation here. Um, if I now want to actually apply that rewrite, I would type um, rewrite using that rule. And it replaces that call to k plus 1 with a call to nat.increment of k. Um, so one other thing is it works even if I, this is a, like a compound expression. It doesn't just need to be like a single leaf or, or a symbol or anything like that. So if I go ahead and rewrite using that rule. Um, so actually, let me just make this clear. So rule is not a special. I mean, I can call this definition whatever I like. Uh, let's call it my rule and uh, rewrite using my rule. Um, And yeah, we can see that it applies, you know, the same transformation. It correctly puts parentheses in. Um, so it's doing the rewrites on the level of the syntax tree, uh, and then pretty printing the results uh, back to the scratch file. And you can see when it does these rewrites, it uh, doesn't modify your scratch file directly. It's or it's adding it's adding the rewritten uh, definitions to the top of the scratch file above the fold, uh, so it's easy to go back if you um, don't like the results. Okay, last thing I was going to show a more complicated example. Uh, so here I have a function either dot map right, and I want so this function uh, operates in uh, or it works in terms of either, but I want to rewrite it to work in terms of optional instead of either. So I have a rewrite block that's going to do a few things. We're going to replace uh, you know, left with none, right with some. We're also going to do that within pattern matching. So we're going to replace the left pattern with the none pattern and the right pattern with the sum pattern. And finally, we're going to rewrite uh, the type signature as well. So if the type signature talks about either, we're going to rewrite it to talk about optional instead. And we are even, you know, locally that that a whatever a happens to be bound to, 
uh, we're going to reference that same A when we do the rewrite. Um, so let's go ahead and try doing this. We're going to rewrite using our either to optional function. And it does it. So it, you know, fixed up the type signature and now uh, type signature is in terms of optional and it, it changed none to or left to none and, and right to some in both the patterns and also on the you know right hand side of of the uh, of the each case of the pattern so yeah so it's super powerful there's a lot of neat stuff that you can do with this and it's a it's a great tool for um, just sort of automating what would otherwise be sort of tedious uh, text munging to, to implement refactorings and so forth. And I think that's it for just a quick preview. Thanks.